Welcome again, students, to another lesson using www.sketchup.com. It's free. And today we're going to make the monkey bar assembly for our imaginary playground. And without further ado, let's begin. Navigate quickly to your SketchUp landing page, the one you see here. Go to the upper right corner. There's the person icon, and you select it, and then select My Apps. You may have to log in with your Google account. Uh, there's my Google account, and you can see here it says My Products, select that. View Included Applications, there's a little drop down, select that, and then select Launch SketchUp for Web. There's the familiar blue logo, and you're good to go. Next thing to do, and the first thing, is create new simple template feet and inches. Move to the right where you see Model Info, and select that tab, and select Decimals and leave the precision as it is, and the snap interval I usually change to 0.125, and then hit the Enter key to lock that in. Select the five foot eight lady and delete her with a Delete key. Move to the Scenes tab, and then select right here the Parallel Projection, and then Front View is where I like to begin. Down to the bottom left, click this Orbit tool, and you'll see the Pan tool. You want to pull your origin down to the left. In this case, I found a good way to do this is just to create it all as one piece instead of making a big assembly out of it. Start with a rectangle. So I select the rectangle, and the dimensions I'll tell you, it's a 96 by 96 inch square. So you're going to click the origin down in the bottom left, click, drag your initial rectangle up, and then type 96, and you can see down in the bottom left the dimensions, comma, 96. So it's 96, comma, 96, and then hit the Enter key. That's your initial square. Now you're going to use the pencil to create the interior. So start with the pencil tool. And I'm going to go back to the origin and select here at the bottom corner. Click and move over six inches as I go along the red axis. Just type in six, enter. That's your starting point to go up. So you find that little green spot. That's your six inch mark. Click, click, that is, and move straight up. And then you can type 90, 90, and then enter. You're going to go to the right. And you're going to type 84. That's tw that's 96 minus 12. 84, enter. And then you go straight back down to the very bottom and then select that. Then, in order to cut out this interior, use the eraser tool. Just select that line. And now you have a profile that you can orbit. You're going to orbit and use the push-pull tool to push it out six inches. Select the push-pull tool, select this profile, click and push, and then type six on the keypad and enter. That's six, enter, there we go, lock it in. All right, at this point, what I'd like to do is make this a component so I can copy it. What I'm gonna do is select the whole thing. Use the select tool to make a marquee around your entire monkey bar assembly, and then go Control C, Control V, move it over here, click, and then you can right click on this and make it a component. Make sure you can call it component two. Let's say this is component two. Hit the delete, and then select any, and OK, and then select this unit. Actually use the select tool, select the whole thing, Right click on the profile, make component. It's component one, select any and OK. Now you have two components. Now we're going to make the positions for the poles to extrude out away from these bars. So what I'm going to use is the pencil tool to measure and the circle tool to draw the profile for the poles. So I'm going to select the center point on this monkey bar click and drag it up and the plans call for 10 inches up. So I'm going to select, I'm going to enter 10 on the keypad, 10 for length down the bottom right and see length 10 enter. And then just move over to this tool, the, the circle tool. It's the third one down under the rectangle, click, and then click, drag, type one for the radius enter. And that's a two inch diameter. Then go back to the pencil, click, Go back to the initial endpoint, click, move it up, 
Type 10, enter. Move over, select the circle. Move back, select this endpoint, pull it out, type 1, enter. Repeat this until you have eight circles. Click. Click. 10, enter. Back to your circle. Click. Pull. 1, enter. 10, enter. One, enter. At this point, you can select six of those circles using the marquee tool and the line that accompanies them. You see all of those pieces that I've selected. Make sure you select only those. Use the keypad at this point and go Control C. Control V and then pull it over here and zoom in and place your six on this side, eight on this side. Now across the top, you want to have 12 inches on center. So you're going to use the line tool. You're going to start in the upper left corner. And then you're going to move down three inches. So you select this corner, upper left corner, click, drag it down, type three, enter. And that's your starting point to pull right, 12, enter. Move to the circle tool, select, pull, one, enter. Back to the pencil tool. Select, put in 12, enter. Circle, one, enter. Pencil, 12, enter, circle, 1, enter, pencil, it's a little algorithm, 12, enter, back to the circle, pull, 1, enter, pencil, Whip. pull, 12, enter, circle, click, Pull, one, enter. Pencil. Click, pull, 12, enter. Circle. Click, pull, one, enter. Click, pull, 12, enter. Click, click, pull, one, enter. That is all the positions. Now I'm going to use the Actually, I'm going to use the eraser tool to erase all the extra irrelevant lines. So you're going to just have to work your way through. In the interest of time, I fast forwarded through the process. This is a great time for you to pause the video and use this method I'm demonstrating here to delete all the extra lines until you have them all removed. Once you have all these removed, you can use the orbit tool. And you're going to use the push pull tool and individually, one by one, I want you to select every profile for the circle and select and pull it, enter 24 on the keypad and then enter. Return to this profile, click, pull, 24, enter. Click, pull, 24, enter. Fast forward to the video in the interest of time. Now's a great time for you to pause and to complete all the extrusions one by one as I'm demonstrating now. Click, pull, 24, enter. Click, pull, 24, enter. And then put it back in the front view. Zoom out a little. At this point, You can use the select tool to select this component and then use the move tool and grab maybe this upper right corner, left corner, and drag it over. See if you can place it on top of the other component right there. 
and look at it. Let's see, front view. Now it looks like I need to use the move tool one more time to grab this bottom right corner and drag it over. Make sure that the edge of this monkey bar is flush to the edge of this monkey pole. And now you have the assembly. At this point, use the select tool, select the entire monkey bar assembly, right click on it, make it as component, call that monkey bar assembly. Select the any box, select OK. Save. Don't forget to save it in your SketchUp. I'm saving it in Playground 2, Playground for you. Name it what it is every time. Monkey Bar Assembly. And save here. And as customary, once it's saved, use these three lines. And you're going to get the pop-up, export as PNG. Export as PNG, and that's the image you want to turn in for credit on this assignment. I hope that helps. Good luck.